Hey y'all, hey, it's Trey and Monet, back to y'all with another video. I am super excited about today's video, you guys. This is gonna be a little bit something different. We are gonna be actually doing a pod vlog, and I actually got this idea from Erin On Demand. If you guys don't know who that is, make sure y'all go through, tap in with her. She creates amazing content around all things business, content creation, entrepreneurship, and so much more. So make sure you guys go through and tap in with Erin. So I got the idea from her in today's topic, we're gonna to be talking about overcoming the fear of launching a new business, overcoming the fear of being a new business owner. But before we hop on into today's video, I got to give a shout out to Dossier for sending me over these perfumes. Y'all, I have featured Dossier here on my channel numerous times because they always gifted me such amazing products and today is no different. So they sent me three different fragrances and I'm gonna just test them out real quick so that way y'all can go through and just Smell them with me because a lot of these I've been using to just room spray. So I've been using a lot of these perfumes as room spray because they smell a lot like the designer fragrances that I already own. So this is what the box looks like when you open it. Um, iconic scents, designer quality, no markups. I know that is right. So this first thing I'm really excited about because I actually own the fragrance. And I'm about to go get the fragrance real quick so we can kind of see if there is a spot on match. All right, so I'm back. So I have MFK here, and I also have Dossier's Amri Chiffon. Chiffron, hopefully I'm saying that right. So MFK, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this bottle before. This is the uh, Mason Francis Kirk de Jean Paris Baccarat Rouge 540. And I am almost out, y'all. Like, I am like a quarter of the bottle gone. And I need to chill out on using this because I have no intention of buying another one anytime soon. And then we have the Ambry Chiffon. So apparently these are supposed to be dupes for each other. This I believe is around 30, 20 to 30 dollars. So make sure you guys go through, tap in and get yours down below. But I want to see if they smell similar. So I'm going to put Ambry Chiffon on this wrist and then we're going to put Mason Francis Kirk Dijon Baccarat on this wrist. So we're going to see if they smell alike. We got one spray there. We're going to wait and let it settle. We got MFK. I can already tell it smells spot on. <laughs> I can already tell. All right. I'm kind of mad I wasted a spray on that. Mason Francis. All right, let's see. So just by me drying them already and kind of smelling them, let's see. So this is um, the Dossier. It smells pretty spot on. All right, let's smell. Get my nose together. Let's smell Baccarat. They smell exactly the same, y'all. I'm not even lying. I feel like Baccarat might be a little bit stronger, but the scent is exactly the same. Mm-hmm. 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 All right, now, so if you are looking to smell like Baccarat, but you don't want to pay for Baccarat, go ahead and get you Amber Chiffon because they smell exactly the same, okay? So we have that one. Up next, we have another scent by Dossier as well. And this one is a dupe or inspired by rather Lay Laboe's Santal 33. So this is the one that I intentionally got from them to spray around my house because I always hear the girls on TikTok, I always hear the girls on YouTube talk about um, Lay Laboe and how they use it as like a home fragrance and different things like that. So I'll actually be using this to just spray around the house um, to, you know, just freshen up my space and make it smell real sensual, real sexy and all the things so let's just spray it mmm hold on I feel like the wind got a hold of it mmm that smells really good let me see what they say the notes are in this violet leaves okay I can see that cedar wood musk amber yep I can see all of that this smells so good. Like if you just want to do like a nice little sexy date night or you just want your house to smell really woodsy and just beautiful, definitely go ahead and get that one. And last but not least, I forgot which one this one is. This one is, um, yes, I love this one. I smelt it in Sephora, but I was being too cheap that day to get it. But this is um, the uh, Mason Margiela's Replica um, Jazz Club and 18% concentration. The top notes in this are lemon, pink pepper, and um, middle notes are rum, dry leaves, wood, and then tobacco leaves and vanilla. I'm really excited about this, y'all. Um, I smelled this one in Sephora a while back. I'm gonna just spray it inside of the cap. And I'm pretty sure it smells so good. I'm the type of girl that loves masculine scents, and this smells so, 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 so good. 
get 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 all of them okay get all of them you might as well get them all my favorite i really love the Le labo um i really love this one too the mfk so that way i don't gotta use my real one um so yes make sure y'all go through tap in with dossier and let's continue into today's video hey 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 i hope you guys are enjoying this series in today's video like i told you guys before we are going to be talking about overcoming the fear of launching a new business y'all it is currently 109 a.m on a wednesday night you guys are going to be seeing this video on thursday the exact next day and i wanted to make sure that i actually filmed this video in real time so that way i was able to collect all of you guys' thoughts i've been looking at you guys' dms on instagram Instagram. I've been looking at all of your comments and I just got to say thank you so much for tuning into this series. I've put a lot of hard work into just going through and just doing a lot of research, just figuring out what type of videos do you guys need? What type of information, what type of knowledge do you guys need? And a lot of the video topics from this series are things that you guys really need, things that you guys need as far as mindset, valuable tips and tricks to go through and just help you with launching your business. But like I said, in today's video, I really want to talk to you guys about overcoming the fear of launching your business and to be completely honest i'm sorry to bust your bubble but being afraid to launch a business is completely normal i actually would be probably scared if you weren't afraid <laughs> and i just want to also say that the fear is not going to stop one thing about launching a business is really get in the mindset of i'm going to continuously be launching i love launching i am a launch girl and what i mean by that is when you are starting a business you are going to be launching again and again and again you may not be launching a new brand or a new idea but you are going to be launching different products you are going to be launching different campaigns you are going to be launching different marketing initiatives you might be launching a new event a new series similar to what I'm doing now so you will never escape launching so get used to launching right and one thing I really want to talk to you guys today about is really partnering with the fear don't allow fear to overcome you partner with the fear right look at your fear as a partner how can i partner with fear to really allow me to overcome it and get closer and closer to building the business of my dreams and really going after each and everything that i'm trying to do as it relates to just growing you know this thing that i'm seeing and this thing that i'm trying to build so really partnering with fear how can i go out here and really try to build everything that i'm trying to build as it relates to my business but trust me, I completely understand where you guys are right now. It is very frightening, right? Like you're spending a lot of your hard earned money in order to have this business come to life. A lot of you guys are investing a lot of time, investing a lot of your resources. You're putting yourself out there, right? So I think another thing that is really important for you to do is really try to identify first, what are you afraid of? If you aren't don't know what you're afraid of, how can we go through and fix it? How can we partner with the fear if we don't know what we're afraid of in the beginning? So identify what does that look like? Are you afraid to invest? Are you afraid to go out and put yourself out there? Are you afraid to, you know, be the face of your brand? Are you feel like do you feel like you're going to be embarrassed? Do you feel like you just don't have enough knowledge? Let's go through and figure out exactly what we are afraid of. I feel like the best way to assess that is what gives you the most anxiety right now as you're launching your business. Do you feel like you're financially not ready for it? Do you feel like you're mentally and physically not prepared for it? Do you feel like you are lacking the knowledge and the skill set? Those are going to be some of the most amazing things for you to kind of go through and realize as you continue to grow through and launch your business. Now, I don't know your religious beliefs or not, but I am a firm believer in prayer. So please make sure you guys are praying. Ask God to give you more clarity on the different things um, that you might be struggling with right now as you're overcoming the fear of launching your business. Ask God to take away that fear. Ask God to take away that anxiety that you are facing right now as it relates to, you know, just putting your dreams out there and chasing everything that you have claimed for yourself. All in all, what I really want to leave with you today is understand and be okay um, with the idea that fear will not leave you. 
there are days, there are times where I'm very fearful. I'm in a fearful season right now as I continue to scale my business. You know, one thing that I'm personally afraid of is success. I'm afraid of, you know, being a, you know, household name. I'm afraid of those things. I don't have a fear of failure. I have a fear of success. And that's something that I'm working on day in and day out for me to go through to, you know, really get to my next level, okay? And I think that's something that you guys just have to pay a lot more attention to and, you know, really go through and partner with that fear like we talked about earlier. I really hope that this video was everything that you needed, giving you that little bit more of a push, giving you a little bit more motivation to go out there and to conquer your dreams. All right, you guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.